G'day streamers, I got something today called an overlay that I think is going to save you a lot of time. Uh, when I was first setting up OBS and trying to do the things that I was wanting to do, I kept saying, okay, I want this scene and I want this scene, and it, I, they're going to be pretty much the same in certain areas, but at some points uh, I want to add an extra element in there or an extra source. But what I ended up doing is like when you do a transition between one and the other, you'd, something was just a little bit off, you didn't quite line it up exactly the same. So what that means is that you get this little jump in that element and it looks funny and your eye gets attracted to it and it shouldn't, it should be focused on what you actually want to, to broadcast. So what I ended up doing was uh, making an overlay and I'll show you how to do that because it just makes life so much more simple. So let's create a new scene and we'll call it overlay. Here it goes again, doesn't want to type. Overlay. Okay, so it's blank with no sources. One of the things I like to add is actually the song, that the song title that I'm actually playing in the background. Now there are apps out there that will allow you to find or read from a file where that song title actually is. I use a program called Radio Logic DJ and uh, that writes to a file on my hard drive and from there I can actually read it. So I go to the text and I'll go Radio Logic DJ text. We'll call it that, makes it easy to remember. And in this case I want it to read from a file. Okay, you've got to find the file. So we go to all the places that we need to go to get there. From memory, now playing. So in my scenario here, Radio Logic DJ will actually set up a default, and I've written in there what I actually want it to say inside of that program. Uh, when a song plays, that will actually pop up and change over. So you can see it's populated the field up there. You can actually add, uh, you know, color to this if you want to. You can change it to colors, or uh, you can put a base color underneath there as well if you need to. And uh, there you go. So we can drag that down to where we want it. Pop it in there. One of the other things that I do is I can add a little graphic to that as well. So we can look up uh, an image and we'll call it uh, Radio Logic DJ Cans. So we're looking for the headphones. So we'll go in there and we'll have a look around and see what we can find. I've got a, um, a dedicated folder there with OBS assets that I use uh, and I, I always know where everything is, that way you can sort of find things, it makes it so much, so much easier. So we'll just resize it a little bit, we'll drag it down here, try and make it a little bit more pretty. There you go, so what will happen now is when I play a song at a Radio Logic DJ, uh, that will put a change and when it's not there it'll just default back. Uh, one of the other things that we could do is we can put our own little graphic in there, so we've got another image, and we'll call this one the brand image. So whatever it is that you do that uh, that makes your, your wheels spin. So uh, in our case, I'm going to use this one here that was done for me kindly. And uh, so that's full size at the moment. And you know what? I could leave it like that if I wanted to and uh, and put my video right over the top of it or I can pull it down here to the to the lower third. And, and there, very simply, is a an overlay that we can use. So now, any time that you want to use this particular scene, you can add anything you like over the top of that. And you know that every time you use this as the base, then you can, it, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. It makes it so much easier. So for example, we can just leave that as it is. We can make a new scene and we can call this, say, for example, our main, our main scene. So let's go and find what sources we need. So let's find our overlay. All right, so we'll go and pick a scene for our source. And we're down in this add existing because it's one that we've already created. We'll choose overlay. And there's the overlay. Okay, so you can then go, well, okay, now I need a video capture device. So let's pull in the camera. In this case, I'll use an existing one that I've already set up called face cam. And I can put that in anywhere that I like in that scenario. Okay, so you see how that uh, is actually blocking down here. So what we want to do is just drop the face cam below and anything that is priority order from here. So the overlay is actually above that. So I can actually place the video if I want to right behind that overlay. So it kind of crosses over. 
So you can do it however you like, but you can do that with another scene and you can put a completely different element in there, but just use that same base overlay just to make life so much simpler and nothing changes. It's all the same. So you only have to, if you want to change your, your overlay and how it looks, you only got to do it in one place, which makes life so much easier. So I hope that helps and uh, makes life so much better for you in regards to getting everything set up inside of OBS. It is a great program and there's so many little cool tricks like this that just make life easier. So happy streaming and we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers.